birthday was in line. He called in a few favors and arranged for me to get out early. Knocked almost four years off my sentence. Now, Joe used to come visit me and, you know, kind of fill me in on what was happening on the outside. But I tell you, as soon as I walked out of that prison gate, it was like a whole new world. You break out of jail? Ah, oh, jeez. Good to see you in regular clothes and on the right side of the bars again. Welcome home. Come on in. Come in. Come in. Man, I tell you, lots changed since I went away. Yeah, I guess it has. And hey, it ain't much, but I hooked you up with a nice little apartment, just like you Thanks. said. Now I got a surprise for you. We're going out tonight to celebrate, and I'm going to introduce you to somebody. Yeah, sounds good to me. You're going to need a little cash so you can get things going again. I got a piece for you, too, if you want it. Ah, here. Always comes in handy. So, uh, what do you want to do now that you're a free man? Hey, what do you think? I want to go back to working with you again. All right. I was worried they might have turned you straight in there. <laughs> I actually met a lot of people and learned a lot while I was on the inside. I had a much better idea of how things work now. Good thing. Because I wasn't exactly sitting around on my ass while you was in there. Don't worry, though. I'll show you the ropes, like always. All right. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Jesus, I didn't expect you to be raring to go like this, but what the hell? Come on, let's go see your new place. We'll take my car and go meet your new landlord. You do the driving so as you can get back into the swing of things. Just hope you didn't forget how to drive while you was in the can. Hey, what are you worried about? It's like riding a bicycle. Sure, but when you smack up your bicycle, it don't cost a fortune to fix the friggin' thing. All right, all right, I get it. Like an old lady. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. And if you ain't noticed, cars are a lot different since you went away. You'll see. Your new place is just down the street, right near the boardwalk. You're gonna love it. Damn, it's good to have you home. I done pretty good while you was locked up. But now that you're out, the sky's the limit. You seen Henry lately? Nah, not for a few years now. You really felt bad about what happened, you know. So what you been up to? We couldn't really talk about much when we visited. Well, after the shit Clemente and that little asshole Luca tried to kill us, I got hooked up with the Falcone family and I started working for them. Really? Yeah, you'll see tonight. I told you, I got a nice surprise plan for you. Don't bother asking, because I ain't gonna tell you. Oh, boy. Don't worry. I've been planning this for weeks. That's what I'm afraid of. What is this, the Indianapolis Speedway? Take it easy, I'm gonna rush. Close enough, park here. Go check the place out. It's on the top floor. I already paid the first month's rent for you. And hey, the entrance to your garage is on that side street over there. Thanks, Joe. I appreciate it. Okay, here we are. I'm sure you'll find it to your liking. I live in a similar apartment myself. As you can see, it even comes with a telephone at no extra charge. And here's the bathroom, clean and modern, with all the hot water you could ever want. And here is the master bedroom. And there is the master's bed. It's comfy, with room enough for two. Maybe three. And it doesn't squeak. Always a plus in my book. I sure hope you like your new apartment, sir. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just one question. When are you leaving? Now, if you'll pardon me, I have to go and check out another client. Goodbye now. Yeah, see you.
damn it. I thought you was gonna be a no-show. Not bad. Nice material. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan for tonight? You'll find out. A friend of mine's coming to pick this up. I met him when you was on your little vacation. Hey, show him some respect. He's kind of an important guy. Oh, yeah? You'll see in a minute. Here he comes. Hey, Joe. Hey, Eddie. Here I am. How's it going? Eh, not too bad. Not too bad. Oh, this your buddy? Yeah. This is my pal Vito. Vito, this here is a good friend of mine, Eddie Scarpa. Nice to meet you, Eddie. Same here, Vito. Okay, fellas, I'm dying for a drink. Let's go. Hey, Vito, you want to drive? I had a couple of drinks already. So, uh, you tell him where we're headed, Joey? Nope. All he knows is that it's a surprise. <laughs> uh, he's gonna love it. I fucking hope so. Unless he got into the, uh funny business in the can. Hey, what are you two talking about? <laughs> Don't worry about it. You'll see. Hey, come on. We might as well tell him now. Hey, you waited this long. We'll tell him in the car. All right. Let's go, Vito. Hey, you know, it would help if you told me where we're going. Hey, toys to bed. Cheers, So, Vito, what was the one thing you missed the most when you was in the game? Freedom. Yeah, well, well besides that? Yeah, you know, uh, booze, broads, baseball, everything. Now you're getting closer. <laughs> what are you guys taking me to a baseball game? No, we're taking you to the classiest cat house in the city, Vito. Cat house, huh? Wow. Well, you don't sound too excited, Vito. Come on, don't tell me you don't want to have some fun after all that time. Hey, don't worry, Vito. These girls are real professionals. If you forgot how to do it, they'll get you back in shape in no time. <laughs> if we're going to have a ball... <laughs> oh, hey, uh, remind me not to drink too much. There's something i got to take care of later. What's more important than pussy and boobs? Uh, you know how it is. Sometimes you got to do what you got to do. Hey, Vito, come on, step on it, eh? I talked to Leo Galanti about you, Vito. He said you were a real stand-up guy, and he told me all about the shit that Clementi tried to pull on you guys. But between you and me, why'd you get into that line of work? I mean, we all got our re reason. Well, uh... Yeah, yeah. Um, because, uh... You know, I don't, I don't want to end up like my old man, and, uh... Oh, no! 
Yeah. Look, I figure nobody's gonna help me, so I gotta help myself. <laughs> you do. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, scram, baby. So, Vito, listen. I work for Carlo Falcone, and uh, we're looking to expand our operation. Joe's been working for us for a while now, and uh, since you're a friend of his, we'd like to extend that offer to you as well. What do you say? Yeah, sure, I'm interested. All right, let's drink to it. Here's to you guys, right. and to a bright future together. Touching I can't be drinking too much tonight. Uh, I got some business to take care of. Carlos a real smart guy. He's into, uh, uh, you know, astrology. You mean astronomy? Uh, fuck you, you fucking cum dumpster. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, ladies. Looks like I gotta get going. Shut your goddamn pie hole. If you want to oh. use your mind. Uh, you fellas ready to go? Uh, uh, no. Yeah, let's go. Hey, get up, Joe! If you had to prepare 20 years ago, you wouldn't be a woman I could the door while she was on the Hey, oh, oh, oh. Get out of I'm going and get me some money. Really? Good night, you whores! Hey, where the hell is my car? Uh, somebody stole it. Hey, hey, call the fucking cops, man. You're staring at it, you lush. Huh? Oh, oh yeah, good. <laughs> hey, where's my keys? Vito's gonna drive. He's the least fucked up out of all us. Yeah, next time for us, Joe. More pussy, less poos. <laughs> so, how'd you like the place, Vito? A lot better than playing I just says each in the shower, huh? <laughs> <sighs> You puke? What? I wouldn't puke in my own car. What the, what the hell is that smell then? Oh, yeah, I'm smelling it too. Must be Frankie Potts. What? That asshole puked in your car? Ah, no, no, he's in a trunk. What? What? Hey, it's all your fault, Joey. I told you I had some fucking business to take care of, and you went and got me drunk. Hey, since when does business to take care of mean dead guy in the trunk? Hey, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, calm down, Vito. Hey, I bet that we'll figure something out. What's the figure? All we gotta do is bury the stiff. I already got a spot picked out. Up by the old observatory. Got a shovel? Sure, it's in the trunk. And the hole is already dug. All we need to do is chuck him in and cover him up. All right, all right. Where's this hole? Yeah, a little ways outside of town, there's a path in the forest to a small clearing. That's where the hole is. Now hurry it up, will ya? God, I need some fresh air. The stench back here is fucking killing me. Too late, V. 
Ah, Christ, Eddie. That, that fucking reeks. Oh, hey, it's his car. Yeah, but that smell, plus the other smell. The only way it could get worse now is if he craps himself. We're here. <clears throat> Vito, go pop the trunk. Is that a joke? Mm -hmm. That's great. That's just great. Yeah. Uh... <clears throat> no. God damn it, new shoes. Oh, Jesus oh. Christ. <clears throat> Man, fucking Christ almighty! How long this guy been in here, ready? Uh, just a couple days. You're gonna have to get him out of there, Vito. Oh, that's just great. I can't handle the smell. Some fucking welcome home this is. Hey, mother... Hey, hey, here's a hole. Right here. Dump him in. Finally done. <sighs> okay. Now who's gonna bury him? What? I I give me a minute to get a hold of myself. Can you just do it? Every time I get a whiff of the guy it makes me have to puke. And Eddie's not gonna be any oh, help here. Whatever. Hey fellas. How about a little music, eh? You gotta be kidding me. Good night, sweetheart. Well, it's time to This go. wasn't supposed to be da, part da, of your homecoming da, da, party, but it's night, nice out here, ain't it? Well, I ain't been in the woods for a while. Yeah, you won't be liking it so damn much after I smack you with this shovel. Yeah. Wow. 
Sorry, Vito. Not exactly the best way to end the night, huh? But thanks. I owe you one big time. Leave Eddie's car here so he can get home. In the morning. You're a good man, Vito. I'll settle up with you tomorrow. Hey, you coming in for some drinks? It's three in the morning. Shut the hell up. Hey, shut up, you whore. Come on. We'll you had enough, Eddie. Girls. You're going to bed. Come on. <laughs> I'll call you tomorrow, Vito. Good night. Stop calling me fucking Joey. What the hell's wrong with you? Vito, come on down! Jesus Christ. like Woody fucking Woodpecker. That was Marty. Remember the little kid you slipped down the street from me? I had to pick up the truck here, so he gave me a lift. What's going on with the truck? It's gonna make us some nice cash. Hop in. I'll explain on the way. You drive. Where to? Riverside. All right, Riverside it is. In Empire Bay. Extra, extra. Yeah, the some night, huh? Empire. Yeah, you could say that. All right. You ain't still mad, oh. are you? Very stiff. That's the first thing I wanted to do when I got out. Hey, come on. You had fun at the cat house, right? Yeah, yeah, I did. Thank you for that. But uh, everything between then and now, not so much. All right, all right. Well, listen, today's gonna be a lot better, I promise. I sure so. Are you the cool snake for a big time? I got a brand new house on the roadside. Made for rattlesnake hide. I got a brand new gym that we made on top. Made out of a human skull. Now come on, take a little walk with me, Arlene, and tell me who do you love? Who do you love? Who do you love? Come here, you just broke into us. We'll bring him in. Who do you love? Roger that. Who do you love? Tombstone hand in a graveyard mine. Just as when it's doing a dull mine, guys. So what's the deal? Simple. We just gotta go to a couple of places and unload these smokes. Then we bring the truck back to Eddie and get our cut of the tape. A piece of cake. Okay. I seem to remember getting the only cunning piece of cake just like this. Don't worry, I've done this before. First stop at Riverside. If you say so. Trust me, you're gonna thank me later.
Now we take care of our customers. These guys here buy in bulk from us. Come with me. Okay, climb up and hand me the goods. Hi, one carton of reds. Hand me a carton of reds, Vito. Yeah, that's the one. Here it is. Hey, good to see you. I'm all out of smokes. Give me a carton of blues. One carton of blues, Vito. Yeah, that's the one. Here it is. How you doing? Caught in the blues as usual? I think I'll take the whites this time. Get that Vito. Let's go. Caught in the whites. Bingo. Thanks, Joe. Now get the hell out of here, will you? Okay, time to go. Get in, Vito. Next stop is Millville. It's going great today. We're making some serious gold. Also featuring the new patented step low feature, the Wasp has more legroom and more style than ever. Visit your Houston car dealer today and prepare to be amazed by the all-new Houston Lowe. Not even 18 yet. He does jobs for me, drives me around, makes deliveries, that sort of stuff. Thinks he's a gangster though. Spends too much damn time at the movies. Well, if the kid's got you for him, he's in for a lot of trouble. Oh yeah, wise guy. He reminds me a lot of you when you was his age. Exactly. And I spent two years dodging bullets in Europe and six years in a can since I met you. That's what I mean in trouble. What's the matter? Somebody shit you caught me this morning. It's like you forgot about all the good times. Yeah, remind me of those something, would you? Blues. All right, 
in the road. There it is, sir. You're welcome. Come again. Fine. I'll take it back to the reds. Got the reds, Vito. Bingo. Here it is. What you selling, Mac? You buying or just window shopping? Maybe. We're selling smokes. Two bucks a carton, hundred bucks a crate. I'll make you a deal. You fork over ten cartons and maybe we'll let you and your buddy get out of here in one piece. Hey, look, pal. How about you get back in your cute little car with your little friends there and I'll pretend I never seen you. Sound good? <laughs> you don't get it, do you, you fat motherfucker? This is our turf. And it's gonna cost you to operate here. Now pay up. You're the one who doesn't get it. You have any idea who you're talking to? One last chance. You walk away now and... Yeah, I'll tell you who I'm talking to. A fat two-bit fucking Dago door-to-door -door salesman hocking stolen cigarettes on my turf. And it's time to close up shop, asshole. Okay, boys. I think it's time for a fire sale. Shit. Don't. Oh, fuck. <laughs> what do you say now, Porky? Who do I gotta say? That's what I gotta say. Come on. Hop in that car and let's go. Let's get one of these fucks and teach him a lesson. Step on it, Vito. He's getting away. I got it floored, Joe. This thing won't go any faster. Listen, we got a problem. We were moving the smokes and these, uh, these greases came out of nowhere and set the fucking truck on fire. What? You fucking kidding me? You couldn't handle a bunch of grease balls? What the fuck happened? Look, look, Eddie, Eddie, look, Eddie. Listen, it's not our fault, okay? They set the fucking truck on fire before we knew what was happening and everything burned up. All right, we popped one of the guys, but... What do I fucking care? Just bring me my money. I paid two grand for that truck, and I want it back. Lucky for you two retards, I got Derek's guy Steve here with me. And we were just talking about what to do with those punks. We're gonna take care of them now. Steve will meet you at the Crazy Horse. You know it? Okay, Crazy Horse, yeah, I know where it is. Steve's gonna have a few guys with him. Show him that nobody fucks with us. No shooting, though, so it looks like just another gang fight. I don't want to read about a bloodbath in the papers tomorrow. Uh, sure. Don't worry. We'll take care of it. We gotta make 
Stephen from that crazy horse. Good news is he's gonna help us out. Bad news is Eddie wants his money back. Or two grand. Shit! You really think we're gonna get two G's out of these guys? I don't know. We'll see what Steve's got in mind. You know he ain't doing this out of the kindness of his heart. What is this, Let's Indianapolis go. Speedway? Oh, what? on the phone. Sure he was. Just like I'm pissed right now. Even if these assholes ain't got a dime, I'm gonna kick $2,000 worth of shit out of them. I'm with you. But what's Steve doing working for Eddie? He works for Derek, and Derek's with Vinci's crew. How the hell should I know? But hey, you're still gonna take jobs from Derek, right? Even though you're working for Eddie? We all gotta do what we gotta do to get by. Hey, Steve. Hey. Hey, guys. Marty? What are you doing here? Hey, Joe. I'm going with you on this one. Steve needed help. He said I could come along. Steve, uh, isn't this, yeah. uh... Kids gotta learn sometime. Okay. Why are we here, Steve, huh? The guys we're looking for are all headed to the foundry. This is where they usually meet, so we'll start here. Then head over to the foundry to finish the job. And, uh, why'd you volunteer to help us? Those bastards trashed my cousin's car. They robbed him and knocked out three of his teeth. Yeah, those fucking assholes. They make problems all over the city. What'd you Shut think up, kid. I'm talking here. So, like the Bible says, an eye for an eye, tooth for a tooth. And, well, we'll just start with this joint. So what's the plan? First, we're gonna trash this place. And how are we gonna do that? With this. Go ahead, boys. Hey, come on, guys. <laughs> now you can either help us or stay out of our way. <laughs> Let's go teach these fuckers a lesson. <laughs> what the fuck was that? Vito, Marty, I got some Molotov cocktails in the trunk. Go get them and throw them in. <laughs> My pleasure, Steve. You two at the main gate. See you there.
How'd you get in here? Followed the fucking yellow brick road. Next. Ha, <laughs> nice one. You fuckers are dead. Joe, watch out! <sighs> Thanks, kid. Shit, they got guns! Let them have it! They got ah, guns. shit, cover me! Fuck. Back me up, Vito. Is that the fucking best you got? Be so oh. gentle, please. Showtime, Vito. Come on, think of something. Hurry up. Help me, please. Stop fucking moving. Let's go. It's fucking over. We got him now. I won't want to get on your bad side. I'll be all right, though. Shit, let's go. Another one bites the dust. Hey, Vito, here we go.
They teach you that in the army? Did you see that? Oh, I can't get a good shot. Listen, this got way out of hand. Eddie's not gonna be too happy. Eddie'll be fine. What are we gonna do? Just let him kill us? These fucking dirtbags won't be bothering nobody. No more. What now, Steve? Now I'm gonna go home and see if that castor oil's working. I've been blocked up for weeks. I'll see you later. Joy, Joe and I still got a lot of work to do. We'll catch you later. Shit, where are we gonna get the two G's for ready? You got any idea how much a car like this goes for? Damn, Vito, you're a genius. These babies ain't cheap, right? I bet Derek would give us at least a grand for that one. All right, I'm gonna drive this baby over to Derek's. I'll meet you back at the fountain. Sounds like a plan. I'll see you at the barn.
Alberto Dawn, ECLA. That's a fucking relief. Stupid fucking junkies. Now they know their place. Good work, boys. Here's your cut. Thanks, Eddie. So, you need anything else from us today, or is that it? I got something I gotta take care of. No, 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 that's all for today. I'll call you if I need anything. Arrivederci. We got a situation here. Grab a gun and meet me at the bar. And make sure you're driving a decent set of wheels. 
All right, I'll be right there. There goes my Sunday. Open up, police! Listen, we know you're in there. This is the police! Excuse me. Empire time! Get your Empire Times here! Extra! Tobacco industry refutes cancer claims! Introduce you to somebody. Vito, this is Carlo Falcone. Pleasure to meet you, Mr. Falcone. Vito? So, Vito, how do you feel about Alberto Clemente and Luco Gorino? Well, honestly, Mr. Falcone, the way I see it, those assholes tried to steal 5,000 bucks from me and then left me to rot in jail. That's good, because the two of them are planning to make a move on us. So it looks like we're going to have to do something before they do something. Eddie will tell you the rest. I'm sure you won't let me down. Goodbye, Mr. Falcone. Nice to meet you, Vito. So what the hell's going on? A car with three of our guys in it disappeared last night, and word around town is that Luca might have had something to do with it. Who's missing? Harvey Beans and the two guys who were supposed to be protecting him, Tony Balls and Frankie the Mick. Yeah. Beans is Carlo's accountant. If he talks, we're all fucked. What do you need me to do? I need you to wait for him in front of Freddy's and follow him to find out if he's involved. And then? If you find out that he had anything to do with this, you whack the bastard. And if any of our guys is still alive, try and rescue him. Hopefully you can find him before they spill the beans about our operation. Where do you think he'll go? I got no idea. 
So go prepared. Make sure you've got a fast car and some firepower. All right, no problem. Okay, stop by here when you're done. And Vito, don't tell nobody about this. Got it. Hello. I see you again soon, huh? Don't worry, I take good care of you. Beverly. From its eight cylinders of pure muscle to the flowing lines of its new lightweight steel body panels, the Schubert Beverly is an automobile you'll be proud to have in your garage. Yes, the Schubert Beverly. Style, performance, and quality. It's the American way, and it goes into every Schubert automobile. America's most trusted automaker since 1907. Luca's car. Now where are you, Luca? There you are. Okay, here we go. Shouldn't get too close. I gotta make sure Luca doesn't see me. like Eddie was right. Okay. I gotta get in there without being seen. Scorned and cursed. Uh, excuse me. Yeah, can I help you? You know how to get into the slaughterhouse over here? And, uh, what would you be looking for in there? Yeah, my dog ran in there. I'm trying to find him. Your dog, huh? Yeah. You know how to get inside or what? First of all, let me tell you something. You are a terrible liar. And second of all, unless your dog has keys to that building, the only way he could have got in is through the sewer. Sewer, huh? All right, thanks. They said that I say that they said that I'm crazy, but I know that they know that I know. Oh, <laughs> 
Looks like I can pry this off. Might be in trouble. Jesus Christ, that reeks. Bad, they're bad, they're all bad. I can hear them scream. That dog could be a problem. Fucking smoke. Relax. Yeah, I heard that one before. Meet Mickey the Lobster. What's his name? Hey, what was that screaming? Thinking of maybe, you know, becoming a voice actor. Shift's over. What do you mean, shift's over? You got shit in your ears? I said you're done for today. But I ain't done pounding the beef steak. Don't make me say it again. Shift's over. Get the hell out of here. All right, fine by me. Damn straight. Let's go. Hey, 
be right there. You got a good tip or something? Yeah, a friend of mine gave me the name of a shirt. Think I don't know about the dope. I know where you got the money. Falcone thinks he's got a good racket going, but he ain't gonna get away with it. Come on, how'd you get it into the States? I don't know anything. I'm just an accountant. Don't fuck with me, you egghead bastard. You wanna end up just like your buddy here? Come on, take a good look. You think you're tougher than him? After we're done with you, we're gonna grind you up in one of these machines here. <laughs> it's it's just a question how we're doing gonna be nice enough to fucking kill you first. <laughs> What's that fucking stench? Oh. Hey! Hey, somebody's over there! Hey, who the fuck are you supposed to be? Jesus Christ, what, what, is Captain Shipbag here to save the day? Shut the fuck up, Luca. Hey, I know you. You're the chump who was hanging around with that moron, Barbaro. I thought you were still rotting in the can. What the fuck you think you're doing here? Falcone sent me. He isn't too fond of skinny little cocksuckers trying to turn his guys into mincemeat. So, you joined up with Falcone, huh? Well, I'll tell you what. If you knew what was really going on, you'd realize that you was better off in jail. But that don't matter now anyway. <laughs> Assholes. Uh, get me down, will ya? Thanks, Vito. We owe you one. Eddie send you? Shit. Poor Frankie. I'm gonna kill that son of a bitch. Beans, stay here and don't come out until we come get you. Okay, okay. Just don't forget about me. Okay, fellas? <laughs> All right, Vito, let's get that little fuck. Little cocksucker's gonna piss his pants. What's going on? They dead yet? Yeah, they are. Guess who's next? A lot of guys with a lot of guns are on their way over. Shit, here they, can't here they come. Back on that. I'm over here. Hey, Vito, let's go. Come on. Alright, 
Nice job. Now let's go get that little cocksucker. Here, yeah, nah. this one makes any more fucking Come on. Calls. Let me in. Could it be able to open it like this? Yeah, we need something heavy, like a like a battering ram. I know. We'll use that cart. Them up. Want to join me? Uh, <laughs> thanks for the invitation, but I think I'll pass it. Oh, huh? Huh? No, just hate the sight of Luca. I hear you, but you're missing out. I think I'm going to try out that cattle prod he was yapping about. Uh, yeah, Eddie wanted me to take care of him personally. Don't worry about that. It'll just take a little longer this way. This fuck don't deserve a quick death. I can't argue with that. Okay, I'm going to go. I stink like an outhouse. I gotta get cleaned up. And tell Lady he don't gotta worry about Luca. Yo, Beans, open the door. It's all over. You? You're still alive? Yeah. What'd you expect? Look, before we go home, you wanna give me a hand with Sleeping Beauty here? You know, that's not such a bad idea.
he's going down on him, and he's going, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh Jesus Christ, was that you? Vito? Oh Jesus, why didn't you take a fucking bath before you came back? You told me to come right back when I was done. You think I'm enjoying this? Okay, okay, okay. What happened with Luca? It's done. All right. How about our guys? You find them? Yeah. Luca had him in the slaughterhouse. Frankie's dead. But balls and beans are fine. Luca was, uh, interrogating them when I got there. Any witnesses? Well, except for a dozen or so of whoa, Luca's whoa. bodyguards. We ran back, into nobody. back up, okay? It was rough, Eddie. Yeah, it sounds like it got pretty hairy. But hey, you pulled it off and you got out of there in one piece, right? So go get cleaned up before you ruin everybody's appetite. And burn those fucking clothes you're wearing. My God. Arrivederci. You made it. Hey, Eddie. Oh, nice threads. Thanks. So, uh, what's the plan, fellas? What's with the suits? Vito, Mr. Falcone is gonna bring us into the family tonight. You and me. We're gonna be made. Oh, shit. Tonight? Yeah. Really? Why didn't you tell me before? What do we gotta do? You'll find out. But first, there's somebody who'd like to have a little word with you. Leo, good to see you. What are you doing here? <laughs> hey, kiddo. I want to talk to you about what's going to happen today. Come here, have a seat. All right. <clears throat> sure. And hey, thanks again for doing whatever you did to get me out of the can early. Now I make good on my second promise to you. Second promise? Yeah. I told you the next time we opened the books, we'd recommend you, didn't I? And now it's done. You had something to do with this? But you work for Frank Vinci. Yeah. I would have liked to have had you in our family. But I figure Joe there is your best friend. You guys grew up together. Just like me and Frank. Since Joe was working for Carlo the whole time you were inside, I recommended they take you in too, when he got made. Thanks, Leo. I, I don't know what to say. You don't gotta say nothing. Not to me or anybody else. That's kind of the way this whole thing works, Vito. <laughs> yeah. Now, come on. We don't want to keep him waiting. All right. I'll see you fellas upstairs. What was that all about? Nah, nothing. Just, you know, talking about old times. Like that time when old Leo dropped the soap. Fuck you. All right, all right, all right. That's enough. Let's go. These are like two school kids, I swear to God. All right, wait here. Now listen to me, fellas. It's one at a time. Once you're inside, just do as you're told, okay? Joe, come on in. Hey. Good luck. All right, 
your turn, Vito. Gentlemen, this is Vito Scaletta. Vito, know that this family of ours is a secret. You are entering the Society of the Chosen. A society which does not exist to the rest of the world. Our family means more to you from now on than your own family. Or God, or your country. If I ask you to kill your own brother, you must do it. Show me which finger would pull the trigger. Repeat after me, Vito. If I were to betray the secret of our way of life... If I were to betray the secret of our way of life... May my soul burn in hell, just like this saint. May my soul burn in hell, just like this saint. Amico nostra. Gentlemen, I give you our new friend, Vito Scaletta. I am very pleased to have these two talented and honest men join us. And I'm happy this has happened in the presence of our esteemed guests, especially Don Frank Vinci. And it's consul You might wonder why I'd take why this risk back. again after spending You're almost seven years in a can. You see, where I grew up, if you was much the only guys who mattered were the guys who had the balls to take what they wanted. You will receive payment for your services from Eddie. Would you like to add anything, Frank? Whatever you do, gentlemen, stay away from the dope. No dope. That's our policy. You can make plenty of money. And after years of doing everybody else's dirty work. There's too many risks. I was willing to risk anything to finally be somebody. Hey, hey, everybody, let's have some fun. You only live but once, but when you're dead, you're done. So let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. Don't care whether you're young or old, I'll let the good times roll. Trash. If you want to have a ball, you got to spend some cash. So let the good times roll. Let the good times roll. Don't care whether you're young or old. I'll let the good times roll.